In this video, we are going to talk about the top 10 places to visit in Lawa. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for future updates. While visiting Iowa, you'll find educational sites like the National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium, as well as adventure state parks like Makokata Caves and gorgeous landscapes like the bridges of Madison County to stimulate your creative side. Visitors and residents of Iowa agree that there is something distinctive about the state that keeps people coming back. With this list of Iowa's greatest attractions, you can find even more locations to visit. Number 10. American Gothic House. Grant Wood, a native of Iowa, is undoubtedly one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. His Midwest roots provide inspiration for many of his most important works. Nearly every American and foreign art aficionado is familiar with Wood's American Gothic, which depicts a farmer and his wife outside their single-story white home. The mansion that acts as the backdrop for this masterwork is open to the public and may be seen in person. Visitors frequently stand in front of the house as the frowning farmer or his wife for photographs. The nearby American Gothic House Center provides information on Grant Wood's life as well as the history of the house he notably painted. Number 9. Herbert Hoover National Historic Site. Herbert Hoover, the 31st President of the United States, is currently the only president from Iowa. A commemorative National Historic Site surrounds his birthplace in the small hamlet of West Branch, celebrating his life, history, and impact on the nation and beyond. It's worth visiting West Branch to see his humble beginnings in Herbert Hoover's birthplace, as well as other preserved landscapes and buildings that influenced the young president to be. The gravestone of Herbert Hoover and First Lady Lou Henry Hoover can also be found in the park. While it's fascinating to see these structures that appear to be frozen in time, the Presidential Library and Museum will take up the most of your time at the Herbert Hoover National Historic Site. This remarkable selected collection includes a permanent display focusing on Hoover's life and impact, as well as rotating exhibits. Number 8. Des Moines Art Center. Since 1948, the Des Moines Art Center has provided a forum for locals and visitors to view art. It features photography, sculpture, and painting that changes on a regular basis. There are also mixed-media exhibits and permanent collections spanning from Georgia O'Keeffe to Edward Hopper at the museum. The Des Moines Art Center is open to the public for free. The Des Moines Art Center also manages a striking sculpture collection in the heart of downtown. The Downtown John and Mary Papa John Sculpture Park is difficult to miss. This well-kept sculpture park, located near the Des Moines Public Library, has rotating pieces and a few permanent artworks that have come to symbolize the city. Number 7. The Bridges of Madison County. In Winterset, about 30 miles southwest of Des Moines, the Madison County Bridges provide an opportunity for a magnificent experience. These stunning bridges have inspired innumerable images, visits, and even a best-selling novel that was adapted into a film. Bridges were simply a part of life for individuals living in this area in the late 1800s before the bridges of Madison County became a phenomenon. Six of the original 19 covered bridges are still standing today, with five of them being listed on the National Historic Register. The Covered Bridges Scenic Byway, which stretches for more than 82 miles, is a terrific way to see the bridges as well as the gorgeous natural landscape. Three of the bridges are only accessible through a gravel road. The Madison County Chamber of Commerce offers group and private tours of the covered bridges by reservation only. Every year in October, the Madison County Covered Bridge Festival culminates a cultural event. Madison County and the city of Winterset are worth a visit even if the gorgeous covered bridges aren't there. It's well worth your time to visit Winterset's historic town square after you've spent a lovely afternoon exploring and photographing the covered bridges. Winterset is also home to John Wayne's birthplace and a museum dedicated to America's most famous cowboy, the Duke. Number 6. Ragbri. Ragbri is a week-long bike race that spans the entire state and is maybe one of the most iconic things to do in Iowa. From east to west, the route highlights Midwestern culture through pleasant people, tiny communities, and wide-open landscapes. Ragbri is for Register's annual bike race across Iowa, and it has been taking place for more than 60 years. 
Each year, thousands of cyclists, support vehicle drivers, and racing enthusiasts participate in this annual summer event. During RAGBRAI, competitiveness isn't the driving force that propels bikers across the state. Instead, it's all about the journey and the community celebrations that take place along the way. Roadside attractions such as live music and fresh watermelon slices abound in small villages. The event includes a lot of costumes and custom bicycles. Every year, the route is altered, and the cities and small towns chosen for overnight breaks become a massive block party. The entire Ragbri route and experience are enjoyable for the entire family, with younger children and parents often electing to ride less than the daily average of 60 miles. Number 5. Amana Colonies. The Amana Colonies of Eastern Iowa are made up of seven communities that transport visitors to another time and place. The Amana Colonies have a long history dating back to the mid-19th century when German pietists initially settled in this remote Iowa area. No outside pressures have interfered with their cooperative living for many years. The Amana Colonies are now a national historical landmark, and the town welcomes travelers to see historical structures, shop and dine in local shops, and explore the gorgeous environs on bike trails and walks to get a sense of the slower pace of life. Amana Colonies hosts annual events that attract visitors from all around the state. It's fun to learn about German traditions at Amana Colonies, from sausage-making Wurstfest to the springtime MyFest. It's worth spending a night or two in the Amana Colonies to get the entire experience. Zuber's Homestead Hotel is one of the several surrounding bed and breakfast establishments. Number 4. Makokata Caves State Park. Makokata Caves State Park offers a glimpse into the world beneath your feet for a unique natural side of Iowa. There are various above-ground hiking paths in this famous state park that include cliffs, forests, and an unusual natural wonder known as Balanced Rock. The caves, however, are the main reason to visit this area in eastern Iowa. The Dancehall Cave is an illuminated cave with high ceilings and a boardwalk for claustrophobics. Makokata Cave State Park also provides access to more than a dozen other caves that require a torch to explore and possibly a change of clothes for those who don't mind squeezing into tiny places. The park has a huge campsite set up for RVs and tents. Number 3. State Capitol. The Iowa State Capitol in Des Moines is more than simply a gold-domed emblem of the city, it's also a window into Iowa's past. The Iowa Senate, Iowa House of Representatives, Iowa Supreme Court, and numerous offices of the state's highest elected officials, including the governor, are all housed in the state capitol, which is located on Grand Avenue atop a hill with a great view of downtown Des Moines. The state capitol, in addition to serving as the seat of much of Iowa's government, is a stunning example of architecture and design, with numerous historical items and intriguing Iowa exhibits that you may see on a self-guided tour. Number 2. National Czech and AMP, Slovak Museum and AMP, Library. In Cedar Rapids, the National Czech and AMP, Slovak Museum and Library is a huge institution committed to presenting the tales and culture of Czech and Slovak people. It also aims to educate the people about their own liberties and how history has led us to where we are now as a society. The National Czech and AMP, Slovak Museum and Library achieves these objectives through permanent exhibits, informative traveling exhibits, and a variety of family-friendly special events. More cultural fascination can be found across the 12th Avenue Bridge at the African American Museum of Iowa. A day trip to Cedar Rapids' downtown sector, which includes other attractions such as the Paramount Theater, is less than a mile to the north. The hotel at Kirkwood Center, located south of the city, is the finest spot to stay for weekend trips. Number 1. National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium. The National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium, run by the Dubuque Historical Society, has collections, exhibits, and live animals that highlight the cultural and geological significance of the Mississippi River and all national rivers that define the country. The Mississippi River runs along Iowa's eastern border, defining much of the livelihood of the surrounding communities. The National Mississippi River Museum and Aquarium aims to highlight the vital role that the Mississippi River and its watershed play in the environment and in the lives of people. 
The museum has permanent exhibits such as the Mississippi River Discovery Center and an immersive 4D theater, as well as regularly shifting exhibitions that are sure to pique the interest of both adults and children. How many times you have visited Loa? Let us know in the comment box below. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Thank you.